This is a uni thread and fire orange. You can use a different colour if you want, but this is for the tag and a wee hot spot for the head as well. Uh, so it's best to tie with this if you need that. Now we simply start at the, the eye of the hook and we work our way down. Now I keep a hold of the waist piece and then I'm going to take it slightly around the bend just to form like a small tag. Then I'm going to come back up maybe about a mil and a half or two. Use the waist piece and tie this in. That there locks in the, the thread turns for the for the tag and stops them getting pulled off. So you could varnish it, which I, I do as well. Now I'm going to use this is a golden olive dyed tippet or golden pheasant tippet. I'm going to use for the tail. Now this has got plenty of marks, got a good black bar at the tips here. So if you're going to buy some, this is the kind of colour uh, they like. So I'm just going to take about maybe eight to six fibres. That's just too many, I'm just going to take some away. Just catch them by the tip. There we are. Length, round about, I would say, from the tag to the head, just coming over the back. Everybody's got their own idea of what a tail length should be. Uh, just you tie it to suit yourself. Quick look at the tail, that's fine. The waist is the full length of the body, so I'm just going to tidy this up so it's like even all the way up, there's no lumps or steps. The rib of the fly, you could be a, I'm just going to use a small oval gold tinsel, you could use a flat tinsel if you want. It ties the full length of the body. I'm just going to quickly take the thread up. This is a wind, I just tap as a wind up to stop the th materials rolling around where the thread turns. Come back down. You want an under, a good underbody of the fire orange. Then I've got a golden olive dyed seal spot. Now to get this colour, I'm not sure if you can see that, I've used uh, like a golden yellow mixed with olive to get this colour. There's two or three ways to get colours and that's one of the ways you can actually blend or mix. Or you can have the golden olive dyed, which I do have, seals for itself. So what we do is dub that on. You can use a substitute as well, it's up to yourself. And then we just put it on as thin or as heavy as we like to suit ourselves. Just a wee touch more. Just to finish it off. Give yourself enough room for your hackle and your wing. That's fine. Bring your rib up. Here's a light, reasonable straight turn at the back and then you want to see the gold, so you're looking at least four to five turns on the way up. I'm just drawing back the seals for so there's nothing going forward or towards the eye. Catch in my, my rib, make sure it's secure. Then trim it away. A wee bit of wax on my thread. And then what I'm using my nail here is just to flatten out the waist end of the, the tinsel. Just makes it easier to tie in. Then a nice base of thread down. There we go. That's fine. Now you can bring out some of the dubbing with some with Velcro. You can just lift it out. Just take the thread out of the way if you're going to do that because you will bust your thread if you catch it with the, the Velcro. And roll it back with your fingers just lightly. Now the hackle I'm using, this is a, it's a cheap Indian or Chinese type, it's a grizzle dyed. And uh, this one, believe it or not, this is dyed sunburst. Which is a kind of modern golden olive if you want to put it. The length of the hackle, again it's your choice, it could be slightly short and long. We tie it in by the tip so we've got a nice mark. We've got a bit of the, the sunburst in the the black or the grey. The grey actually goes a wee touch olive. I catch it in by the tip, the good side of the feather facing my cell. The hackle pliers here. The turns depends on how good the feather is. It's as simple as that. Usually a good feather, you're looking maybe around th but three, three turns. Uh, that's two, three, I'm just coming up into this. Fourth turn, so I'm just going to catch it there. Couple of turns to secure. Just trim away. 
and then tidy the area up ready for my wine which is going to be bronze mallard so there we are just roll in the fibres back slightly bronze mallard this is uh, this is the small feathers I like to use up the small feathers on these type of flies they've still got a bit of bronze in them as you can see but I've dyed these uh, basically a, a brown olive because a, a, a lightly that's just a tiny bit of dye and you've got the paler colour like that you can see the slightly darker colour on the stem but you get a paler colour you need this is a right and a left side so I'm going to obviously mark, uh, mark them together but the way to do it depends don't make the wing too wide so if I bring a slip out like that tear it off and then I put it underneath and do the same again so it's me doubled up on it so I can get the colour so the other lined up I tear them off I just lay that in the desk it's the exact same way I tie a spay fly so basically take it out underneath same again so I doubled up on it and then I'm going to basically make sure the tips are together just bring them together just by moving my fingers and then I get the other side and again I just make sure they've lined up so then what I'm doing here is again lining up the tips so just the same as if I was tying a spay fly it's the exact same way I tie it, it's just smaller just bringing these together tips have lined up you see there's a right and a left side and you'll see the underside the length of the wing it's entirely, it could be as long or short as you like there's a lot of people like it slightly shorter than I do or so but I'll, I'm looking usually at tips round about the centre of the tail fold them so there's always like a right and a left pinch and loop you want the wing to be right on the top of the, the hook and there's two or three turns once I've done that a wee quick look happy with the shape, the length trim away the waist got wax on my thread I usually take the thread to the eye and work up from the eye cutting into these cut ends building up the head you can change the colour of the head if you wish you don't like it this colour you could use olive or black it's up to yourself or whatever this works so it does so see this is a heavier hook so it's a wee dumpier type style of the fly it sits a wee bit deeper and a good wind what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to colour the head with the thread as I'm forming the whip finish tighten up trim away there we are see how it's sitting looks ok don't be too fussy with it and then what we have to do is finish off with some clear varnish all the way around Now this will work uh, in the rivers as much as it will lo work in the, in the locks though I do tie it for the locks here in the UK and especially Ireland as I say it's a nice wee pattern uh, you don't have to use obviously dyed mallard you can just use a standard uh, use a standard olive aqua to give you a nice pattern just the same but anyway that's a version or a variant of a basic golden olive wet fly so hope you enjoyed that mm -hmm.